And allegedly, according to all the reports here, these Arizona players are furious at their head coach, or my apologies, their former head coach. They're saying he disrespected the team, it was highly unprofessional, and many more things that I can't say on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today was a crazy day in the college football world, and I need to throw this in there at the beginning, a little disclaimer. Some of the news we're going to be talking about in today's video, or tonight's video, I guess that's a better way to say it, is news that didn't happen today, but I just found out about it today. And I feel like a lot of it's gone under the radar just due to all the stuff going on with Alabama, and we got to talk about it. But most importantly, before we even start on this video, I want to say this. I am currently watching the end to the Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers game, and I got a bone to pick. You know why I got a bone to pick? And I'm extremely passionate about this because all these people that love the NFL, and that's fine. If you like NFL more than college football, you're entitled to that. I don't expect everybody to agree with me and like college football more than the NFL. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But what gets to me is us college football fans, we don't say, oh yeah, I love college football and then degrade the NFL. No, 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 no. We just say, oh yeah, college football is my favorite sport. For some reason, NFL fans, they can't just say, oh yeah, I'm an NFL fan. They have to throw in there that college football sucks. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. People are always trying to crap on college football. And what do they always say? What is the number one argument? Oh, well, in college football, it's not competitive. Everybody beats the crap out of everybody. And well, 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 would you look how the tables have turned. Don't let that final score of 48 to 32 deceive you. That Cowboys game and the Packers game, it was pretty much Georgia versus TCU 2.0. The Green Bay Packers took their starters out and per usual, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, they were stat padding at the end. I had to throw that in there and talk about it because I can't stand when NFL fans bring up the argument that college football is not close. Well, I'll tell you this much, up until this point, the college football playoffs haven't just been slightly better, they've been four times better than the NFL playoffs. Getting that out the way though, in tonight's video, we gotta talk about how Washington, remember Kalen DeBoer, he left their team, well they already found a new head coach. And let's just say a lot of fans aren't too happy with this new head coach and what he did to his previous team. We're gonna talk all about that, but also a Florida player, a starter at that, he just did a big no-no in what some would label as a cardinal sin. He just left Florida to go to their arch nemesis. And some people were calling him out, and guess what? It's the main reason we're talking about this. He responded to him. I can't wait to get into that, and we got a new update on Cameron Ward, the quarterback in the transfer portal from Washington State. I'm sure there's a couple other minor things we're going to talk about. Get you a snack, get you a popcorn. It's more than safe to say it's going to be a jam-packed video. But all right, Matt, blah, blah, shut the crap up. Not up for that dough. Yes. Alright, first things first. I guess I might as well throw this in there. We already talked about it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. J.J. McCarthy, for those of you that didn't watch the video earlier today, he announced that he is going to the NFL Draft. Devastating loss to Michigan. You're losing your star quarterback, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Just wanted to get that out there if you didn't hear that news. Moving along here, though, remember, there's a lot of rumors and speculation going around that Cameron Ward, he might go to the NFL Draft, but come to find out, he's transferring to the University of Miami. I haven't talked to too many sources around that Miami program, but from what I know leading up to this, Miami was going to offer any quarterback a million to $3 million. As to how much they gave Cameron Ward, I'm going to meet you in the middle here and say probably around $1.52 million. So congratulations to him. He got paid. But more importantly, college football is going to be pretty exciting with him running the show at Miami. Is Miami going to have another wishy-washy year where they go 8-4, and 7-5? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I have no idea what to expect there. Why did I say I don't know what to expect? Let me change that. I do know what to expect. They're going 8-4. and four. What I meant to say was I don't know what to expect out of Cameron Ward. I'm curious to see how he plays there. And a lot of people are confused by this because they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could have swore he declared for the NFL draft. And yeah, it's one of those situations where Miami offered him the bag. And he's like, wait a minute. You know what, I, I could play another year of college football. And to be honest, I'm not even too sure why he was considering going to the NFL just due to the fact he wasn't going to be a first-round pick, and I don't even know if he would have been a second-round pick. More than likely, he would have got picked somewhere around the third to fifth rounds. I'm glad he decided to come back to college football. He's exciting to watch, and I can't wait to see how they play with him. Moving along here to our third topic, take a look at this. Florida's starting offensive lineman, Richie Leonard, he entered the transfer portal, and he winds up committing to Florida State. No big deal, though, no big deal. Why are we even talking about this, Matt? Well, it's for this reason right here. He was getting a lot of backlash on Twitter, and somebody defended him and stated this. Richie had the best season out of the offensive line. Y'all just mad, and it's okay to be mad, but we're not going to act like he wasn't the most reliable last season. Richie Leonard himself winds up quote tweeting that and saying this. They get mad when you do what's best for you, and not them, broski. I know whose opinions matter. Woo! What about that? And for those of you who don't know, to give you some context here, I should have said this before I showed you these messages. Florida fans and all the message boards, they were going crazy. 
Oh my gosh, this guy's a traitor. I understand he's leaving, but I can't believe he's going to Florida State. That's our rival. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like I don't understand why the Florida fan base is griping. I get it. That's like an Alabama player going to Auburn. Of course, it's going to stir up some controversy and fans aren't going to be happy about it. But me personally, number one, I don't have a problem with it. And number two, he's right. When you do what's best for you, and by the way, this is what's best for him, people don't like that. There's a phrase and quote I heard years ago. I'm talking about, shoot, it had to be seven, eight years ago, and it sticks with me to this day. And that quote and phrase goes something like this. People are going to criticize you regardless, so do what you want. It's not that I think that's true. I know it's true, and you sitting here watching this video, you know it's true as well. People are always going to have something to say, so at the end of the day, might as well do what you want. And maybe some of y'all think it's a big no-no to transfer to your rival school, and I'll leave that up to you guys in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I would love to talk about that some more, but we got to get a move on to, I'm not even going to say it, man topic we really don't have a main topic in this video just a bunch of interesting topics that we're putting together and that is no other than the breaking news that just came out that arizona's head coach jed fish he's leaving as y'all know jed fish he had a heck of a year at arizona he surprised everybody and they wound up winning their bowl game against oklahoma and which by the way i did pick arizona to win well here's the problem with jed fish currently he winds up taking the washington job and nobody's mad that he took a better job they're mad that he had a team meeting with his players at arizona and it only lasted three minutes. And allegedly, according to all the reports here, these Arizona players are furious at their head coach, or my apologies, their former head coach. They're saying he disrespected the team, it was highly unprofessional, and many more things that I can't say on YouTube. And I don't want to come off as insensitive here, but that is business, it's cutthroat. Now don't get me wrong, whoa, 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 hold up Timothy and Bobby, hold up, hold up, before you run to the conversation and get mad at me. No, I'm not saying what he did is, fine and i would have done the same thing no, no 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 i ain't saying that all i said was business is cutthroat and that's what college football is it's a business how do i feel about him only talking to his team for a few minutes and leaving or departing whatever you want to call it i don't like it i think it's a low blow when you're leaving a team i think that meeting at bare minimum has to be something around 30 minutes to an hour and i'm just thinking about how i would do it i would personally go up to every single player every single coach, assistant, manager, analyst, and thank them personally. And I'm just thinking that alone, that'd take how long? 20, 25 minutes, 30? Then after or before you do that, you're gonna give a speech or I would give a speech that's about 30, 45 minutes long. And despite how long you think it should be, either 30 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, we can all come to the same conclusion here and we're, and we're all in the same boat on this. It's gotta be longer than three freaking minutes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, somebody just tagged me in this. Nah, this dude's a menace to society. He got the nerve to put on Twitter, hashtag new profile pic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta check on some of these comments. <laughs> Get ready to continue to be owned by the University of Oregon. Yeah, you got some people commenting the snake emoji, and yeah, there's some very hateful stuff being said. Don't come back to Tucson, you're a liar and a traitor. I hope you lose every game at UW, you absolute cloud. Washington Husky fans, you're getting a two-faced selfish person. He doesn't care about you, he'll leave you guys as soon as something better comes along. Your team is a stepping stone to this guy, just as Arizona was to him. Mm-mm-mm-mm, you hate to see it. And yeah, I could read off all these comments, but you know what they're saying. It's just people are mad about it. I hate it for all the young men on the Arizona team. I really do, because I thought Arizona had the potential to make the 12-team playoff next year. But now you also got to wonder this. How many players from Arizona are going to follow him? Who knows what's going to happen there? This is a situation I'm going to keep my eyes on pretty close the next couple of days. I hate to see people handle business that way, and I would consider myself a man with high integrity and honor. And giving a three-minute speech, if it is true, that's just allegations here, but if he only gave a three-minute speech, I don't like that. I don't like that a single bit. I try to look at it from both sides, because remember, there's two sides to every story, and these head coaches, when, let's say, Washington offered the job, normally, they're only giving them less than, what is it, like 12 hours, 10 hours to make a decision? I know everything's happening quick, but come on, man. You only talk to a team for three minutes? I feel like the least you owe them is a 30-minute speech, and that's the bare minimum. It has been a crazy day in the college football world, a crazy day, and I assume more crazy stuff is going to happen in the next 24, 48 hours, so stay tuned. I'm going to update you guys by the hour. Not by the morning, not by the night, but by the hour. Let me know your thoughts down below, but uh, Robin!